the new album from Troy Sivan has much to offer. In terms of pop music, Troy Sivan is unusual. Sivan is a global superstar with millions of ardent, loyal followers, yet unlike Bruno Mars, Justin Bieber, or Harry Styles, Sivan sings only about males when he talks about love, dating, and sex. And on his most recent release, Something to Give Each Other, he discusses in detail areas of queer life that are rarely given a public audience. This is not how it always was. Sivan claims that he struggled mightily to hide his identity as a child in Perth, Australia, to the extent that he couldn't even bring himself to envisage in private how his favorite pop songs might sound if the pronouns were reversed. That younger version of himself might therefore be thought of as receiving a belated present from his musical career. I really am doing that in so many ways, you know, replied Sivan. Of course, there's a big element of pride in the fact that I am now so comfortably, openly gay, but also just musically, especially on this album. There's so many little nostalgic references to the pop that I grew up listening to, pop stars of the early noughties, even down to the choreography and the music videos. I really am doing it for six-year-old me, who just wanted to be a pop star so badly. Sivan discussed the specifics of homosexual love and attraction in something to give each other with NPR's Ari Shapiro, as well as the few listeners in front of whom he still feels awkward.